Bees, welcome to my channel, Be You Now. Thank you so much for being with me here today. Today I'm doing your love reading. Yes, so I have been guided to do love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. If this reading doesn't resonate, head over to the videos tab. There might be another reading that's more suitable. I mean, welcome to all my new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So many of you have just joined my channel. I so appreciate you. That enables me to bring more content, bring more new tools, improve the quality of the content that I'm sharing through all the behind the scenes technology and everything else. So I truly, truly appreciate you. And if you haven't subscribed, it's just takes a second to click subscribe button costs you absolutely nothing, but it lets you know when my readings become available and it lets me know that you want more of this content. Now I recently did a poll not too long ago and it was so neck to neck. And with more new people coming on the channel, as well as the poll, I've decided, hey, there are lots of people looking for love. So I am going to be doing your May love and romance read. So let's see what the energy is for a lot of my Aries collective that are watching my subscribers, my viewers, my OGs that have been there from day dot. I so appreciate you. So, so appreciate you. It's your love and support that enables me to continue showing up daily literally if you don't show up i don't show up it's really that simple all righty so let's see ten of swords i am not at all surprised so this is a major ending a lot of my aries collective i know from the comments i read all your comments by the way a lot of you have shared that you've gone through major endings and now you're ready to open yourself up this, the reason why I love this deck is you can see this is sliced in two, but then there is another figuring that's whole. So this is what I feel that you felt hurt, rejected. 10 years, 11 years, 7 years and 3 years are coming up strongly. So collective read, if you want a one-to-one -one read, it's the first link in the description box. And also I'm offering special love readings, whether it's an ex-lover, twin flame, whether it is current relationship or if you're single and looking for love you're wanting guidance just hashtag love and i'll send you the link by the way going back to this read here this is what i mean you have worked on your healing you have now come to a space and place where you're ready to open yourself up to love again the idea of love soulmate relationship love is all available to you because that major ending is truly truly done complete finito okay it's in the past and you've come on the other side stronger bolder confident and more you being more unapologetically you is what i'm picking up energetically yeah whatever this situation i mean these cards don't i mean seriously like i cannot i simply cannot three of swords and ten of swords yeah major heartbreak major heartbreak for somebody major disappointment and if you haven't been through that or you might be going through that. This is a collective read. So depending on your timeline, that could this could also be your current story. Or you might still be feeling that. It may still feel quite raw. Sometimes long period of number of years go by, but it takes time to heal, depending on what your individual circumstance was, right? I mean, I can't I can't even look at this. So for somebody here. These three cards right here, this was a major disappointment. This person you, was your soulmate. You soulmate, twin flame, however you associate or call it. And you gave it your all. This was your happily ever after. So when things ended, it was, you felt rejected. You felt aban abandoned. You felt, why did this happen? How You did not, I feel this energy for somebody here. You just did not see this coming. It just completely baffled you that the things unfolded the way they did. Okay, I'm sending you a huge hug. I'm sending you so much love. I know how difficult this. I've been through this myself, so I know how difficult and um, hurtful it is, particularly when you love and care for somebody and it doesn't, it completely, you know, they don't think the same way. And you're like, how is this even possible? But remember, they they were not meant to be that's with the ten of swords they were not meant to be they had they so you were on a growth this is the this is what i'm picking up you are on a growth and healing and ascending and elevation journey 
but they were not there. So they, they, they were feeling left behind. So the easiest way for them was to end things because they could not, you were shining too bright. You were shining. In that relationship, you were shining too bright and it was too much for them. That's why they, they just didn't know how to handle it. They just did not know. So um, with the lover's card though, there's something better on the horizon. You have closed one chapter. You've closed this chapter and you're now ready to open yourself up to new love. So new love for my single Aries, new love. New love is definitely on the horizon for you. Yeah, I can't make this up. For somebody, this sent home, either I feel like they would have broken up with you. So this is the, the sent home card is all about they, they might have um, broken up with you. This is the tower. Tower happened, right? Look at that lightning. And it just baffled you. I mean, I, I can't, you can't make these things up. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Look at that. A lot of you have been working on self-love. Claim that in comments. Self-love. A lot of you have been working on really feeling your own self, giving yourself the love that you're looking for in others. And that's the best way to attract love. The moment you are overflowing your own cup is how you'll be able to feel that for somebody else. Because if your cup is empty and dry, you're not going to be overflowing and be able to pour into somebody else's cup. So a lot of you have done the healing work, have connected back emotionally, feel like you again. Feel like now it's your time. It's time to shine again. All that caregiving that you did in this relationship, now you're giving it back to yourself. You're like, you know what? All this BS, I'm done with it. I'm going to pour it back into me. And that's, that's what's bringing you this gift from the universe that's what's bringing you this new love this new love can only come in when you allow and open yourself and do the emotional healing because when you are connected deeply within yourself you are able to connect and see that connection in others that's how it works that's how love works okay four of pentacles a lot of okay so a lot of my areas you some of you here are still very closed off you are still, four of pentacles is your heart is locked up. You're like, you know what? I'm done with this BS. I can't deal with this. You know, my heart was broken. And I really, that's what this storyline is. It's about, you know what? I'm just going to focus on me. So a lot of my areas in the month of May, a lot of you might be fo just focusing on you, your needs. And others of you, you might be starting to feel like with the Queen of Cups showing up, I'm ready to open myself up again. I'm all ready to open love again. But with these two cards right here, a lot of you are still keeping yourself You're like, nah, love, what love? Nah, I'm not, I'm not going there. Been there, done that. I don't want to go through that cycle again. I just want to focus. And a lot of you are focusing on your money. You're focusing on your money and career. You're not so giving it so much thought when it comes to love. Okay. So take whichever story is yours, but let me just clarify. I feel like clarifying this Queen of Cups and let me, yeah, Queen of Cups. Oh my God, I can't make this up. Look at this. Two of Cups. So this Queen of Cups is you definitely pouring that love and that cup to yourself. But that's what's going to be the Two of Cups open you up to new love. Whatever this situation for a lot of my areas that are single, that have been through heartbreak, I'm sending you a huge hug. It was, there was lying, stealing, cheating happening. It was keeping you anxious. It was, it was keeping you up at night, you know, and now you're like, I just don't want drama. No more drama. No more drama. Thank you. I'm done with that. But as you are topping yourself up and pouring that love into yourself, universe is like, you know what? You had to get out of that relationship so you can meet someone new. That's what this is saying to me. Absolutely right here. Okay, let's quickly clarify the lovers. Look what just flipped out. Aries, you got to stand in your power. You got to stand in your power. Um, I'm just going to... You got to stand in your power. You are the king of wands, male or female. We're talking energy. King of Wands is fiery, passionate, creative, visionary. 
be that leader be that change maker oh my gosh that lovers that was a karmic cycle you have now completed the karmic cycle so you can open yourself up to new love a lot of you this has been a long wait as i said to you 10 11 years could even be 14 years for somebody look at these two major arcanas clarifying the lovers card can't make this up i cannot make it up this is beautiful to me this is saying that you the wait is over you've completed a cycle you're ready to open yourself up to new love that cycle is well and truly over and closed we had the ten of swords let's not forget okay so aries may is going to be very very monumental and important for you when it comes to your love life for my singles out there for those of you that are in a relationship be mindful of these energies watch watch where things are going in your relationship communication there's some you've got a lot of major arcanas in this in this read all right let's pull you some oracle cards wow quite a few want to come out if you desire to book a love reading just hashtag love and i'll send you the link if you want a detail if you have specific questions then it's the first link in the description box okay stay optimistic about your love life this is like triple confirmation positive thinking and faith will bring you romance yes 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 love yourself first oh my gosh go watch the read if you're just joining us you do not want to miss this your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive amen amen that's what's going to attract this new person into you oh my gosh i can't even i can't even for all of you looking for love wanting love open to love and loving yourself give me all your emojis come on let's do this let's do this let's get in the love energy and vibration because it's the highest vibration to be in the more it doesn't matter whether you're looking for love whether you're single doesn't matter love is the highest form of energy and vibration you can be in when you're in that energy and vibration you become a magnet to everything else everything else soulmate yes this is your soulmate so major confirmation if you are dating if you are if you've got questions about your person yes what did oh my gosh go watch the read i mean all different decks this is just next level read i this is why i love doing love reads i mean for a very long time my areas are like oh i'm not looking for love but as the as the channel is growing evolving new people are coming on and people are healing it, it more and more people are opening up to love and it's wonderful beautiful thing it's an experience finances and career go watch the raid financial issues are a factor in your love life right now uh-huh right most of my areas are like i'm only focusing on money and career aries let me know what you thought of this reading let me know in comments do you want to see more of these reads more often on the channel i would love 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 to know if you watch this read what you thought of it and Aries, remember the power that is you by being you now. And I will see you next time.